You can't perpetrate your way into like virginity. <laughs> you can't perpetrate your way into I'm pure as the driven snow. I've got no skeletons in my closet. Leave me alone. Like, no, you better own up and be like, look, mistakes have been made. I have got some skeletons in my closet. Okay. Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well today. And I'm making sure my mic is plugged in because I had a video. I shot this whole video and my mic wasn't in and I just had to get rid of it. Yeah, I had to get rid of it because uh, the sound was terrible. But look at this shirt that I have, you guys. This is a shirt that I found at a thrift store and it's brand new and it has a picture of my little Otis on it. And they had a whole bunch of these. I should have bought all of them. They were like two dollars. They're like these really cute little shirts with little pug pugsy on it. I call it my Otis wear. <laughs> I think it's cute. My Otis isn't here with me. He's asleep. He's he's done for the night. He's had a, a hard day uh, barking at strangers. So he's uh, he's gone to, to bed for the evening. But we go off into this other thing that's going on with the Megan and there's apparently skeletons in her closet. Now who don't have no skeletons y'all? Come on now, we got skeletons, right? Well, it's kind of hard when you uh, have a, a rogue family out there talking about you. Thomas Marco Jr. was talking on Big Brother about some things with his sister. I can only imagine that there are some things that are going to come out. You know, Harry and his wife isolating their families. It's just not going to do them well. It's, it's kind of like an all out war on people to just do what they got to do because they're in a situation where they're not being talked to. They're being thrown away like trash. So why should they care? And this thing with Megan, I think it goes really deep. I think it goes back to the days that she was definitely in the early years of her career in Hollywood. And sadly to say, a lot of times when you are young and vulnerable and you're desperate for a career and you know that you're being leached on by vultures of men who are trying to take advantage of you. You are in a situation where you have something to offer for the, in exchange to maybe something that someone within the industry can give you. And that can not fare well for you a lot of times. So I can only imagine if there are skeletons in her closet that they would be around things like this because that's just what it is and I know from firsthand experience but journalist Tom Bauer is saying that her estranged father is actually holding back some really embarrassing things about her. I think at this point he's so desperate to speak to her that this is like his ace in the hole. Like I, I need to whip out some embarrassing moments or some skeletons. I'm just gonna just like whip them out. Like here's my ace in the hole right here. <laughs> Trying to get his daughter's attention to, hey, you better say something. You better call me. I got my ace in the hole. <laughs> I got some skeletons I'm gonna unleash. You better pick up the phone to call me woman. This is a man who is desperate. It's like what I've said before. Imagine you have a child who is like just lost their mind and they completely are not the child that you once knew. You're going to do whatever it takes to get your child out of whatever it is that's causing them to go woohoo. It's easy for us to say, just leave her alone, Mr. Markle or Thomas Markle. Just leave her alone. Stop embarrassing yourself. Think about it if it was someone you really love, like your whole life. Someone that your mission in life was to take care of this person. Like you've given your all to this person your whole life. And then suddenly they whack out and go crazy. And then what you going to do? You just gonna be like, okay, you crazy. Or would you be like, something is wrong with my loved one. I have got to see why they are no longer speaking with me. 
I need to know what is wrong. Why are you acting like this? You would want answers. And so I get it. I get why Mr. Markle is so desperate. And I feel sorry that he has to whip out his ace in the hole, like try to get his daughter to wake up and recognize because that's that's going to probably more than likely be very hurtful for him to do. But at the same time, it's, it's the one thing that he has that could get his daughter to wake up and reach out and call me. And the other thing is, is if he says he has something that he's going to reveal or say, then if you say you're going to do it, then you better do it. We're not doing, we're not playing games. We're being serious. So I can imagine that would be very hard for him to do, but I'm going to go ahead and read this article and just look at what they are saying in the mirror. Mm, mm, mm. This, this is isn't it just like a soap opera. <laughs> it's like as the Royals turn. Ooh, as the Royals turn. You know, their decision to isolate themselves from their families and their loved ones is a very bad choice. In fact, it is a poisonous choice. It's not going to get better by just saying, OK, I don't want to talk to you. You can't ignore people banging on the door forever. It's kind of like you just like, ah, la, 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 I'm the princess. La, 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 I'm the princess. And then you slowly just like, you just like knocking down people. I'm the princess. I'm the princess. You just knock them down. I ain't got no sister. I ain't got no half sister, brother. Knock them down. La, la, la. I'm the princess. I'm the princess. Like you trying to live this life. Like, look, you trying to be like focused on your life as the princess. Because you like, oh, I'm the princess. I got a title. Shoot. I'm shoot. My dreams has come true. But then you got all these little distractions coming at you and you you trying to like whack them down while you trying to still be the princess or the duchess. You know what I'm saying? But how can you do that? Like, how can you possibly stay focused on something with all these outside distractions? It's not the responsible thing to do as an adult. You need to, you know, and say, yes. OK, what do you want? Oh, you're my half sister. OK, yes. But I'm the Duchess now, so I can't really speak with you that much. And I'm 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 going to acknowledge you. Um, I'm responsible, and I don't run away from my problems, or I don't run away from things that I'm embarrassed of. I, I, I acknowledge them, and and I keep going because I'm the Duchess. But you can't go around like I'm the Duchess and just like. Like you don't want to see nothing from your peripheral. <laughs> it's like that peripheral vision is a distraction. That is a mistake. You you gotta you better open it up. Open up your peripheral and look and see who's trying to get a hold of you and be like, oh, okay. And address your issues. Like address it. That ain't gonna make it go away. It's not gonna make people think that. You know, you don't have this other life that you once had. We know what you used to do and what what your life was. You can't perpetrate your way into like virginity. <laughs> you can't perpetrate your way into I'm pure as the driven snow. I've got no skeletons in my closet. Leave me alone. Like, no, you better own up and be like, look. Mistakes have been made. I have got some skeletons in my closet. Okay. <laughs> so this is why the difference exists between someone like a Diana and a Megan, because a Diana was pure as the driven snow. She had not a lot of life experiences, but on the other hand, when you got someone like a Megan in Hollywood pursuing a career that is already kind of like kind of scandalous in that you know, how you get work and all this, the things that came out with Me Too movement. There is just things have happened. OK, you in the public now, you the Duchess, you got to be like talking about the things that you just don't want to talk about. That's just how it's going to be. So he told Closer Magazine she's a really family oriented when she was younger, but she seems to have completely erased memories of that and has disowned her father, Mr. Markle. Um, similarly, she has cut off her ex-husband when her career started taking off. 
She seems to be very ambitious, unforgiving. Um, and I think that to her dismay, more will come out. And you're going to look real stupid. Like, be like, that ain't me. Uh-uh, that ain't me. <laughs> but it is. Like, what you going to say? Trying to ignore it only makes it worse. Because people don't want to be ignored. It's like in Fatal Attraction. She's like, I'm not going to be ignored, am I? I'm not being ignored, am I? Are you ignoring me right now? Are you going to say you don't have a half-sister? Are you going to say that you don't talk to your daddy? Oh, you going to say that you ain't got nothing to do with somebody like me? Uh-uh, 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 I ain't having it. And people are going to start knocking real loud. They're going to be like, you girl, you better wake up and recognize. That's what's going to happen. Megan needs to compose herself in her flaws, own it, and, and, and be the better version of who she can be. But trying to be pretentious, ignoring things that you don't like, is not going to help make your situation any better because people don't want to feel like you trying to play them. Mm-mm. Mr. Markle ain't having it and nor should he have it. We're like, girl, I changed your diapers. You don't treat me like this. Uh-uh, who you think you are? Just because you marry somebody with a title. Uh-uh. I ain't gonna, uh-uh, no. <laughs> It is like crazy that Harry and his wife are just trying to perpetrate this life of like, whoa, like we, we are the saviors of the people, but we don't want to talk to you and we don't like you and use racist and media. Get away from me. I want my privacy. Oprah, what you want to know, like all these things, contradictions is really just kind of making things kind of kafluffled. It's just kind of like a bunch of goobly gock. I think uh, that Mr. Markle is keeping some things back that he has a lot of embarrassing stuff on her or there are skeletons in the closet. And then when provoked, I think the secrets could all come out. And this is why I think Mr. Bowers knows things because he is assuming, speculating, because he knows something. There's no reason for him to even come out and say that. How would he know? Unless he know. And he know. I can tell you he knows. So Mr. Bower also added that Harry and Meghan have isolated themselves in California, hoping to make them stronger so yeah they think that they may be able to bring their their relationship together in a more stronger union away from harry's family no what she has done essentially she has weakened harry when she took him away from his family this man who has grown up in this privileged position to do great work who has been prepped to do certain things as a man of the aristocratic environment of people. And now he is living something completely opposite of what he has normally lived. And he can't do well in this, in this mindset. She knew what she was doing when she brought him to California because, you know, half 50%. <laughs> divorce. I don't think Harry really understands what he has done to himself by leaving the protection of the monarchy and his country and his people that support him. You just a lone wolf now in, well, you're not a wolf, but you're lone, you're lonely in California naked. Just butt naked in California. Okay, so Mr. Bauer criticized Megan calling her a very stubborn person and said that she that he thinks that she will eventually ex um, accept her and Harry's decision to create an isolated world was a poisonous choice. So eventually, I guess they're going to recognize that we made some mistakes. We made mistakes. Mistakes have been made. Uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was caught. Fans by surprise in January in 2020 when they announced their plans to step down from the royal family mm -hmm. and to become financially independent. Now they are independent, but you know, at the same time, they're using those titles 
in a way that they shouldn't just use your name but you know your name ain't gonna get you nowhere so they're trying to use those titles which is just showing me that you married the man for the title from the very beginning look we ain't stupid uh, megan has a rocky relationship with her father mr thomas marco who has never met his two grandchildren and ain't ever really met harry talked to him on the phone but he ain't never met harry <sighs> it's just wrong <sighs> just just speak to your family woman it's like, what you doing? What you doing? I know, I know, I know. If I try to ignore my mama, they come and snatch me up. Who you think you are? Her mother needs to let her know, girl, look, you better say something. So apparently, Megan has been urged to speak with her dad and her brother, um, or there's going to be skeletons coming out. Megan has had a strange relationship with them for a while now. And it's like we we have eyes like we can see what's going on. The less Megan speaks, the louder they're going to get. It's wrecking with the skeletons. Be like, OK, mistakes have been made and keep it moving. <laughs> That's what adults do. That's essentially what adults do. Children behave like this. Children are the ones that try to ignore things that are embarrassing or that they don't like or that they want to disappear. That's what little kids do. But when you are a woman who is supposed to be refined and adult-like, you, you, you get up and you address the things that are uncomfortable because that's what a woman does. That's what a woman of morality does. That's what a woman with character does. Regardless of what may have happened in Megan's past, you know, we're all in this life trying to be better and we make mistakes. So it's not like ignoring your mistakes is going to make it go away. No, it's just going to be there getting louder if you don't address it. So, you know, People are forgiving, you know, and, and this is the thing that I can see happening. I'm going to tell you, no, mark my words right here when I say this, you guys. Listen to me good. I could see the things that have come out as so detrimental to Megan that she will have a breakdown and she will essentially lose it emotionally for the world to see and then she will garner the sympathy of the public i can see that happening so as long as she's trying to ignore it and be like i'm the duchess hey i'm the duchess what i don't hear nothing hmm oh i don't see nothing i'm the duchess i'm the duchess and you know, in the background, you got your, your dad and your brother waving at you and like you trying to be like, oh, I don't know them. <laughs> like the more you try to do that, that's the more ridiculous you look. But unless you're willing to accept how your life is before you got the title, you just going to keep perpetrating with the title. I mean, what good is that? Be authentic. If people see you perpetrate when they when they when you come down with that title, they be like, "Oh, she perpetrating." That's the that's the girl with the title that perpetrates. Like you can't pretend to be a duchess, like a virgin. You got skeletons, girl. You better open that closet and start looking at those skeletons.